make a lame man walk again. You call the dead to rest. And that's why we dance and live. Kansas City, Gospel 1590, 106.1 FM. It's 9 o'clock a.m. Welcome to the Morning Glory Show. Turn your volume up and let the word to God pierce your soul. 1590 a.m. on your radio dial and 106.1 on your FM, pal. Thank you for tuning in to the Morning Glory radio broadcast with Drs. Adam and Adrian Blackstock of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church. Sit back and get ready to receive a word that will transform your life. Good morning, good morning. This is uh, good morning. <laughs> this is the Morning Glory Radio Broadcast, which is the radio ministry of Glory Bible Fellowship International Church, located at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri. Of course, we have our worship services on Sunday at 9 o'clock and uh, with our fellowship breakfast, 9.30 with our empowerment class, and then at 10.30 with our worship service. Wednesdays at 7.15, we really get started about 7, but we like to say 7.15, give some people time to um, get on in and get their prayers in and get everything as they're ready to go. And then we start at 7.15 solid, and we get uh, get you in and out with a solid uh, interactive Bible study. Uh, Prophetess, what do we have upcoming so that I don't, uh, <laughs> I don't mess it up? So. <laughs> well, we have, um, you know, Wednesday night, tomorrow's, if you don't have a church home, we're going to come out and fellowship with us. On Wednesday night is our um, um, Bible study, so make sure you come out to that. And then on this Friday, we have Single, Saved, and Waiting. So that's our prayer life ministry, and it's Real Talk with Prophets. So ladies, come on out. We're going to have a real talk and, and deal with some of, you know, some of the issues or concerns uh, to strengthen you in trying to be a, a celibate woman during these last days so we know it's not easy amen but you're going to get some input by some women uh, who have walked it out amen and so also answer some of those other questions we will have um fellowship in the beginning we're going to have food and all that so get a chance to come out at 7 p.m this friday amen 7 p.m you can call the church at 816-795-1900 also yeah, I, I saw this video and I'm, i know i shared it with you don't uh, be sure you don't know what I'm going to do uh, with that, Bishop. He's trying to spill the tea. I may use that, so we're not that, sharing. That, you can talk about that next week. That was solid. So. Okay, so I, I had it. I just went back to it this morning because I was going to look at it <laughs> to see if we want to use it, a part of our our meat, our pure life. Look, at he trying to spill the tea and stuff. Well, no, I'm, I'm just a good bishop trying to share the yes, information. Yes, okay, we're going to share in-house first, amen. <laughs> Hey, we'll let y'all know about that next Tuesday. Amen. I need to look at it because yeah. you, you're still a man. Amen. Yeah. So, and then Tuesday, which we're ending up, which is the last 
this month is Sexual Abuse Awareness Month, and so I want to be able to be a blessing um, to adult survivors of childhood sexual abuse, and so we're having a special support group, which will be at Glory Bow Fellowship International Church next Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. It's a time of healing and pampering, so get a chance to come out, um, those of you where your story um, can but your story can can be told, amen, or to be around individuals. And so there's a dynamic there. I'm going to have a um, guest that is going to share um, the healing journey um, of being an incest survivor, amen. And so some many of us in the African American community and in homes, we have kept quiet much too long. So I'm not saying this is there's a forum and a, a, pri a private support group where you're going to be able to share your truth and be able to receive some coping um, tools to be able to walk out your healing. Amen. And so I have this every year. And so this is an opportunity for you to come out because we need to believe survivors. Okay. And so parents, what we need to do is to be more preventive um, with our children because one in four children have been sexual abused as females and one in six um, males and so that those are some large numbers um is, is it going to completely go away i'm just being honest no but if we be more preventive and we at the church speak out about it and we're sharing um and teaching our children about good touch bad touch and we have to because most sexual abuse take place in families Bishop. right it takes place in families. It may, even if it was exploratory or what have you. And sometimes things are generational, but somebody must speak up and stop the madness. Mm. Okay? Stop the madness. So we talk about, you know, sexual violence is just as prevalent as the violence that's taking place in, in, in our city and other homes and just domestic violence, all of that. So that is on Thursday. I mean, that is next Tuesday. We will start at 6.30 p.m., with fellowship and so just get a chance to um come out you can call me directly at 816-728-7447 for the special adult survivors of childhood sexual abuse you can call me directly that goes directly to me 816-728-7447 amen okay and then um may 3rd uh, which is next friday mm. Uh, is uh, our Bring the Heat first Friday uh, service. Woo, 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 woo. Uh, we're looking forward to that. Just you guys come on out. It's at 7 o'clock, I believe. It's 7 or 7.30. 7 o'clock. I get confused. I'm, I'm just, it's, it's, it, uh, it's such a powerful service, a fun service. Come as you are. It's just to get your, your month started off right in the spirit. Uh, so it's uh, always the first Friday of the month. We're just going to have a fun time, praise and worship. A word of God and uh, just come casual. So if you don't have anything to do, come on out. Uh, first Friday, it's we've had fun the last two first Fridays. Yes, uh, so yes. we want to keep keep it rolling, keep it rolling. And then on Sunday, April uh, May the fifth uh, at four p.m. is our fourteenth uh, annual uh, uh, pass. Uh, not pass. Was it church at church anniversary? anniversary. <laughs> Church anniversary. You got to wait to December for, the, yeah, for that. Yeah, church anniversary. And that would be more than 14, praise the Lord. But uh, so our church anniversary, uh, Bishop Otis Cobbins of Bread of Life East. And uh, uh, so is our um, our guest speaker of the, the hour. So we're looking forward for you coming to visit with us on May uh, the 5th at 4 p.m. Uh, more details to come. And last but not least. Uh, you can come and uh, worship with us on Mother's Day, uh, May uh, the 12th, or and or uh, just uh, come and help us or come celebrate uh, our uh, youth at uh, May 27th and Memorial Day at uh, William Christman as we have our annual uh, Team Believe track meet. Uh, we'd love for you to come and uh, uh, come visit, come support, send your children to Team Believe if you they're not running with anybody. They need yeah. someone to get release of that uh, pent up energy, and uh, they need a, a good uh, Christian based uh, team. You come on out, and uh, we would love for uh, more uh, for you to help coach your kid to victory. Eight one six seven two eight zero one one three. Eight one six seven two eight zero one one three for more information for that. Bish, I was just I was just sitting here because I can remember the year I had all three of the boys. One was in elementary school, one was in middle school, one was in high school. Those were some trying times. So I look forward that they got to release some of that energy uh, for those two hours 
doing Monday through Friday. I mean, it was the best two hours I had. <laughs> <laughs> Man. So if those of you, so a great opportunity uh, for you, for you to get the, you get your children in. And so, you know, Kentuan, we never knew Kentuan was like our little, I'm just going to say our lazy child. <laughs> And now he's at import. He's in Emporia State, and he's on a scholarship for high jumping. He yep. never knew any of that stuff or what have you. We just put him in there, and he began to just thrive at it. Amen. So they don't have to come with skills, unlike Adam was, you know, a natural runner or what have you. But you, you never know that what you can do by because there's so many different. I may not be using the right word. There's so many. What you when you talk about track and field, so many different components. You got mm-hmm. the the shot put. You know, um, some of you have you know some of those big boned children. Everybody, everybody tell, I'm not gonna be skinny, but hey, they put them in shot put. Do them so you shot, know use that this, muscle. Yeah, use javelin, that muscle. Yeah. You know for for something strengthen that. You know they they, they get the exercise. They get to yeah. walk and run. You yeah, there's about 15 that. to 20 different disciplines uh, that, uh, and this is where I'm sure that's what you were talking about, that we could put a child in on a er, on every meet. They can run uh, all the way from the shortest race, which is 100 meters, to the longest uh, race, which is t- uh, two miles. Uh, and there's a, a whole lot of distances in between. There's three or four or five different jumps, pole vault, there's uh, shot, disc, javelin. I mean, the list goes on and on. We'd love for you uh, for more information, just call me at 816-728-0113. Uh, we love uh, for the opportunity to, to coach your child to victory, but also make him a better citizen in the kingdom. Amen. Right? Uh, we, we, we check grades. We, uh, we discipline uh, children uh, that uh, mothers come to us and say, you know what? My child acting up. It sure would be nice if they could run a few extra laps or, or <laughs> do some additional push-ups, uh, and and we and we we accommodate those uh, because Amen. it helps mamas and and daddies uh, get a little more structure in their home. So, uh, for more information, just call me at eight one six seven two eight zero one one three. And I, I and you saying that I want to give a shout out to my cousin DeAndre Baker, who this on Thursday he'll be going for the draft. And the reason why I'm bringing that up, he started out in track. Yes. Okay. That's where he started out in track and going. And his mother, even doing with football, that's what she did. And so now he, you know, graduated from the Georgia Bulldogs. And so we're looking. Um, everybody in Miami actually is praying that he goes for the Chiefs. <laughs> you know, yeah. they want him to. And, and part of it is because we are here. Yes. They want a strong spiritual foundation for him because you know how things go with athletes and football players. But yeah. so you got I told Prophet is if, if he come join the Chiefs. During football season, we'll have an eight o'clock service where I'll preach. <laughs> I know Deacon Dale. Go to the Deacon Dale is gonna be over there. Deacon Dale probably speaking in tongues right now, all the way to Thursday, <laughs> man. <laughs> so you guys put some good prayers out there um, for DeAndre Baker, Amen. Woo, hallelujah, so, hallelujah, glory, hallelujah. <laughs> Yes, we 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 sending up the prayers, God. <laughs> it's like an incense in your nose, God. We are right Amen. there. Amen. But we know we won't be able to be in the same Yeah, and, God. and you know we his know. sister is a dynamic oh, yes. athlete. You can go look pa- her up. Uh, Paris Baker. Uh, she run, she does hurdles. She does sprints, and uh, she's uh, top ten in the in the nation right now. Yes. So uh, there are uh, benefits uh, to. Uh, being in track, especially from early, the younger you are, the more you get uh, used to it. And it's an awesome. What's time. the early age? Because I'm I'm ready to put Adam in. I'm, I'm, I'm ready just. <laughs> now, to she's see. she's too young, but uh, they got little itty bitties. How the, it, 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 itty bitties? The our our smallest age group starts at turning seven. Okay. Right. Uh, but uh, we've had some dynamic athletes. Uh, that started at age five. Well, at five, she come to practice. <laughs> yeah, and we're we going to run her unattached. Amen. <laughs> yeah, she yeah. Gonna, she's going to be running unattached <laughs> until uh, she, can come she with, gets to seven. She can come with Poppy to practice. That's yes, fine. Yes, amen. I'm quite sure her mother would love that. <laughs> 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 okay, so, um, Prophetess, I know we wanted to talk. Uh, we just had an awesome time during Passover and Resurrection weekend. Uh, and right now, this is a feast on lemon bread still going on. Yes. But we are preparing now for uh Shavuot uh which is uh the uh Pentecost and uh but there's those 50 days in between yes. uh uh Passover and Pentecost there's something uh called uh 50 days of kindness, of kindness. tell us more about that okay so we're so so you guys can understand okay we're on the uh, th- it's a more dean time that when do you know we all you hear people prophesy things and all that we have authority to do that but this is a god timing 
So April 19th over to April the 27th or what have you is what we call the Passover window. That window, that's the open heaven. That window is open. These are, and that's what we've been talk, telling you guys, but if you've been listening to us or follow us three times in a year, which is Passover, Pentecost, and the Feast of Tabernacle, God says, don't bring your best gift before me and don't come empty handed. Deuteronomy 16, 16 says, take it to the place I have chosen. We'll tell you that because we have a Messianic believer that's over our congreg that's ahead of our congregation. And he's because he's one place and we've been living this way where you can let your seed come. Amen. If you know some other place that has that anointing, do it. OK, Exodus 23. Uh, we're saying that we've been put in the kingdom for such a time as this for this here region. So Exodus 23, verse 14 and 17, God speaks it and says it again. But then in verse 20 through 20 through verse 30, there are eight blessings there. It's not predicated on your background, who you know, or any of that, Bishop. And that's what I like about these three times because maybe we got babes in Christ. Maybe you just knew getting in. You don't, your faith. There are eight blessings there that God says, when you come before me, don't come empty handed these three times in a year that you bring your, you bring your best offering to me. And here are the eight things I'm going to do. Amen. And so on, we did that as a family, uh, Bishop and I, and I mean, we was, I was really strategic because I'm believing God and God told me to put, um, uh, family legacy for this past, past offering seed, which I haven't done that before in times past. I just know what it says, but I really was laying hold that I want a spiritual inheritance for my bloodline and from, for my children. Mm. Amen. And so it says that I will release an angel before you. I will take cut out stuff. That's I will cut things out. that don't need to be there. Amen. I'll make sure you have long life. I'll make sure that your bread is blessed. That's your money. That's prosperity. I make sure your water was represents for Prophetically, a greater measure of the Holy Spirit. I'll make sure that you're not barren. Amen. That's really it, that's in your body versus also in areas of your life where you would not be stagnant as well. And so there's eight blessings there. So we did that. That and, that, and it's, it's a continual time for those of you who are partners with us. You can go to the GBFIC app or you can go to GBFIC or if you want to mail it in. It's a Passover offering. Amen. I'm not going to labor over this. I'm just, listen, we live this way. That's why I don't care what the devil say. Because when Passover offering comes, I put my seed in. It talks for me. It's been talking for me for the last 15 years. Amen. So we're getting ready during these 50 days that Bishop was talking about. And in between from Passover, we started on Sunday until June the 9th, which is Pentecost. It's, you should be doing random acts of kindness. Okay. It is tied into with um, the with staka. Amen. It's a high, it's another higher level outside of us sowing seed and our tithes and our offerings. Amen. So what does that look like? Perhaps you're going to get coffee this morning and you just pay for the person coffee um, that's in front of you. Or you say, I'm going to pay for the person coffee behind me. Or if you're going through the drive through or if you're in the grocery line, I mean, or, you know, normally this is a good time for some of y'all mean Christians to practice kindness. Pastor, go, oh, you know, I, I was going over to. Um, that is one of the fruit of the spirits, amen, in Galatians 5 and 22, Bishop, if you want to yeah. read that. Yeah, I just want to say there's, uh, uh, during this, what they call the, the counting of the Omer, this is the period between uh, Passover and Shavuot, or uh, Resurrection and Pentecost, same time period. Uh, though during these 50 days is your counting of the Omer, the random acts of kindness, and uh, you want to you wanna do it, uh, because if you want to focus the things uh, that you are giving so that when the harvest comes during Shavuot and you have a supernatural or a Pentecost, you have a supernatural overflow of a harvest. Why? Because uh, if you're doing 50 random acts of kindness, Right, not the same 50 act. Days. Fifty that, days. Let's make it fifty days. We'll try to get fifty. Maybe yeah. we miss a day. Yeah, okay. yeah. But which the, is a ch it would it's, it's a challenge. It's a challenge. But the more random your acts of kindness are, the more the most chance for you to get a a big supernatural harvest. Because if you give out to fifty different directions, amen. The harvest got to come back. 50 different directions. Yes. So you have an opportunity to be a blessing. Uh, uh, Galatians 5 would tell you that that is one of the fruits of the Spirit. And, and so let's go ahead and read there real quick. Uh, I got the NLT. Okay, up. go ahead. You, uh, the go ahead. NLT says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit 
in our lives. Listen, that's what God wants. God wants you to have fruit in your life. Amen. It says love, joy, peace, patience, kindness. And we want to highlight that. Yeah. Goodness. I want to, we want to highlight that faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these. Amen. So what Bishop and I are saying, we're challenging you to the 50 days of random acts of kindness. If you want to challenge, you know, over the 50 day period, if you don't do one a day, you know, you may, you, you may do five in a day. Perhaps you normally don't smile or speak with a certain coworker. Amen. Mm. And you bring them. Um, a cookie or a candy bar or something like that. Um, you smile even more. You know, you, you have no idea. Um, open up the door for individuals. Sometimes we can be so self-absorbent that, and I'm sticking to myself because I'm a real single, focused, minded individual. People say, you know, problems. I was trying to wave at you in the car. I'm looking straight ahead. I ain't looking to the left, to the right. Um, but be more, when I go to the store, I, I, I want to go in and come out. But be more mindful and sometimes just looking at the countenance on individuals. And you can tell individuals that just say, hey, you know what? God loves you. Oh, how are you doing today? Now, I really have to work it because I, I, <laughs> I worked on this in the past. That's why I'm telling you this. Because you many times we'll say, how are you doing? And we don't wait for the person to respond. We just go on, on to the next thing. So I had to be what? The Bible says be what? Quick to what? Listen. So listen yeah, to somebody. Somebody, somebody might say, well, I'm not really doing so well. That's your opportunity to yeah. pray. Yeah. Amen. That's your opportunity to yeah. encourage. Ah, the robot shade down. The robot. Yeah. I just feel, bitch, I just feel the power of God on this. Even while when you were speaking before, I just feel the presence of God. What does that mean? Because God is saying, listen, I'm in this. We're talking about all the hate that we're around, all the stuff the children. I also send out um, to our congregation for children. I send out to all the teachers in our congregation so they can share within the within their schools. Amen. We gotta teach little ones not to be selfish. Yeah, let me let me read it from the uh, Passion Translation because Ooh. it is really nice. And uh, but the fruit produced by the Holy Spirit within you is divine love in all its varied expressions, joy that overflows, peace that subdues, mm. patience that endures, kindness in action. A life full of virtue, faith that prevails, gentleness of heart, and strength of spirit. I love the way it says, uh, joy wow. that overflows, peace that subdues, patience that endures. But look at this, kindness not in action. A lot wow. of us, we, we call ourselves kind people, but we don't do anything. So how, do we, how does <laughs> anybody know? So I love it that says, kindness in action. And, and so this is where we have the ability to be active in kindness. That means we give not out of, uh, not out of just what's in our spirit. We give out of love because we want to be active in it. Amen. And, uh, and love is, and, and that's what sometimes. Remember, I was having this conversation probably with one of my children some time ago. You know, love is action. Yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I. I I feed you, you know, par you know, we we we're doing all these action things, and we gotta teach our children. Okay, now you of age, you know, what reciprocate? What does that love look like? Yeah, you never know what kind of a uh, random act of kindness comes up. I I remember uh, this weekend, I, I just asked a young man, I said, "Would you like me to give you a ride?" Uh, and he said, "Well, no, no, I'm just going right here." But he was like, man, thank you. I really appreciate you offering. It, 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 it makes a difference. And you had just came from the incident where there was a killing that he was leaving. He, yeah, whatever. he was leaving in the, the neighborhood. For aim for peace. Yeah. So we, we have to have a, a desire to be active in what we do, not just sit on the sidelines and watch somebody else do it. All right. Uh, the, the worst, the, the best position, the most loved position in football is the backup quarterback. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Because uh, everybody wants him in when your quarterback's doing bad, and you never want to use him when your quarterback's doing good. But everybody cheers for him. Amen. But he's never doing anything. We want to be the quarterback. Amen. Out doing when everybody can see you act, whether you whether you're perfect or not, just do the action, and see God score. The winning touchdown. Now, the bishop, you know, as a prophet, I have a heart for the church. And so I'm just remembering on Wednesday, I, I did a teaching on lend a helping hand. And that deals with the errands and the herds, and that deals with uh, using our gifts of helps. So even um, 
we're, some of us, let me, you know, we're some of us are pretty good at, at, at doing. There's three areas that, that God looks at. It's time, time, and talent. And so many in, individuals, you may be maybe a good, good tither, but how, how about are you giving your time to God? Right. Are you using your talent? you know, to the Lord. And sometimes the area that we write, we don't want to give no time to the Lord. Wow. You know, that's the reason why we got churches that want to give you a 45 minute service. Cause the people, you know, that's all, that's all the time I'm going to give to the Lord. Cause perhaps with you being at church, amen, you, there may be an assignment that, that needs to get done. So we're saying that over these uh, 50 up to June the 9th, that you be more purpose and being have kindness, goodness, having joy and don't be begrudgingly. You know, oh, or yeah. what have and use wisdom. Don't go around not just picking up all the homeless people, you know, or what have you. And, <laughs> and go ask a cat. Use wisdom and discernment in your acts of kindness. I had them laugh and I'm like, you know, don't go, you know, you I'm gonna pay for this person, um, this person um grocery that's in front of me. Well, you see three hours, you don't know that the shopping cart, here go the other person say, husband say, Oh, here you go, and now it's a two hundred dollar bill. Okay, so just use wisdom. It's not to put you in a bind or anything yeah, and of if, that and nature. Like I said, when you're led by the Spirit, yes, uh, God will give you direction on where to go. It could be just saying for y'all young po folk, Mama, let me go and clean that for you and so you don't have to do it. What a concept, yeah. right, that our, our young people would get engaged or even uh, uh, giving an elderly, elderly person uh, a ride or, or taking them grocery shopping, not not paying for it, but just taking them there. Yes. Doing stuff like that is the 50 uh, random act, 50 days of random acts of kindness. We got two minutes. Let me Prophet, you want to give something? Yeah, I, I hear something that was on the list. Teaching someone something new. Take treats to the police station. Read a book to someone. Buy coffee, you know, for a stranger. Create gift boxes um, for the soldiers. Um, sing songs at a nursing home. Send a postcard to a friend or family member. Smile at everyone. That's the top of some of the things I'm talking. <laughs> Compliment a friend. Donate, you know, did some of these ones for children. Donate your cho donate your toys. Play with animals at the shelter or be kind to animals. Um, cook dinner for a neighbor. So these are get created. Donate your odd clothes um, to other to the children's shelter. Um, help a struggling student in school or help mm. a struggling. How about being a, a good disciple to someone in your congregation or picking someone up yeah. um, and taking them out to lunch or something of that nature. So I'm looking forward to this. So join the 50 days of random acts of kindness. Get your children involved. Get your church involved. Text this out to certain hey, hey, individuals. Let me, let, me, let me put uh, the radio station on. 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 <laughs> Get your radio producer involved. Get, <laughs> get, get, get Debbie D involved. Yeah, she, she, Debbie D said she's ready to smile. She's already got, all day. got a smile all day. And you can hear it on in her voice when she's talking. She's always smiling. Yeah. Uh, so that's a blessing. Uh, anything else, Prophetess? I know we got about 10, 15 no, seconds. I, left. I'm just excited. <laughs> I'm looking forward for the challenge. Amen. You know, God is, so go and read Galatians 5. Amen. So God is challenging all of us to be earth representatives and ambassadors for him. Him okay. to show and, greater and, love. And here is the first act of kindness that you're going to have today because we're going to tell you that Jesus, Jesus is, is Lord. Lord. If this broadcast has been a blessing to you, feel free to partner with us by sowing a seed at gbfic.org or mailing a check to Morning Glory at 1126 Northeast Delta School Road in Lee Summit, Missouri, 64064. If you need special prayer of any kind, please feel free to call us at 816-795-1900. If you've recently been involved in an automobile accident and then get contacted by some doctor or lawyer that you didn't contact first, be careful. This scam is both unethical and quite likely illegal. Don't be their next victim. For real answers to your car wreck questions and real help with your car wreck problems, call Roderick White, your real car wreck lawyer. Call me at 816 I Got You or visit us online at igotyou.net. The choice of a lawyer is an important decision that should not be based solely upon advertisements. Don't miss the bus. It's the Kansas City Homes Experience Bus Tour. Sunday, April 28th, 11 to 6. Visit neighborhoods of specially selected, newly constructed and renovated homes for sale in the Kansas City Urban Core. Check in at 11 a.m. Bus tour at noon and the post-tour mixer 3 to 6 p.m. with free food and
and raffle. Register at kchte.eventbrite.com or call 816-469-5350. Sponsored by Central Bank of the Midwest and Keys Realty Group, Inc. Your community real estate brokerage. Selling Kansas City one key at a time. Message and data rates may apply. Individual results may vary. Exclusions apply. But hey, I'm buying a huge flat screen TV so I can finally see it without my glasses. Why not just get LASIK at the LASIK Vision?